Hello, and welcome to another installment of uh, the Latrobe City Manager's video blog. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this blog. It's been a little while since we've done one. Hopefully we're going to settle into a pattern where we, the last week of the every month, make a new one. What's going on in the city these days? Um, there's a lot happening in the city of Latrobe. This is a very exciting time, I think, to be a Latrobe resident as, as well as, uh, as, as a person who uh, does business in Latrobe. Let me start with some of the things that we're working on. Uh, of course, the parking garage in this city is coming along quite well. I'm proud to report that uh, we're still on target for opening up the garage in the beginning of August. We've also agreed to, the city has, to do uh, a new payphone, by, payphone app uh, for customers of our parking system. And it works like this. Anyone who has a smartphone, uh, an iPhone, a, a, a droid, or quite frankly even a cell phone can take advantage of the service. The service is called Pango. So if you Google Pango, you might be able to find it. Um, it's new to, to the U.S., quite frankly. Uh, Europe and in Israel, the, uh, this firm and this company have been busy, but they're going to be new to us. And again, it works like this. You download your app through uh, the, the Droid store or, or the iPhone store. You register with the app and, uh, you know, giving your, your billing information, that kind of thing. How would you like to be billed? When you drive into the city of Latrobe, you'll be able to pull up to a parking meter or enter into the parking garage and begin using your app. On streets or anywhere there's a meter will work like this. Engage your app, it'll let the app know that you're, you're paying for your parking. When you come back to your car, you'll let the app know that you're done parking. You'll say to yourself, well, what about the meter on the street? Well, for the meter, it will be still present for those who want to use coins to pay the meter. But for the Pango user, they'll be able to use their app when the uh, meter attendant who's doing enforcement comes down the street, they'll notice that your meter hasn't been paid. So what they'll do at that point, instead of starting to write a ticket like they normally do, they'll simply use their smartphone or iPhone to type in your license plate number. If you were paid and you paid by Pango as a registered user using your license plate number, they'll know immediately that you're a paid customer. Move on to the next car. Simple as that. How will it work in the garage? Well, we're anticipating in the garage to go to a pay station. Pay station would be, uh, would be an, aut an automated attendant. You enter into the garage and get a ticket. There'll be an arm that will allow you to enter. When you're done doing your business transaction, you'll go to a, a, a pay station on foot before you go to your car and you'll make your transaction. You'll pay cash, you can pay credit card. If you're a Pango user, you'll simply enter in your Pango ID just like you would with the credit card. You'll be able to enter in, hey, I'm a Pango user, I'm not going to pay by cash today, I'm not paying by credit card, I'm paying by Pango. Your Pango account will get billed as you've set it up. Whether you do the cash, credit, or Pango option, the pay on foot station will spit out to you a ticket, you know, a magnetic strip card that will allow you to exit the garage. Again, the goal here is to provide greater customer convenience and service. I vision a future where um, Parking meters will be like pay phones. Once ubiquitous and, and quite frequently found, uh, but being because of technology replaced by cell phones and people's own personal telephones, which are with them 24 7. Parking meters, in the same way, will find less utility within the system because one, there won't only be pay by phone apps, but there'll be other opportunities, whether it's uh, easy pass systems that are embedded into your vehicle that allow you to pay and park wherever you want and eventually um, the utility of having meters on the street won't be so needful. When will that happen? I don't know. How long did it take for us to move to cell phone, texting and emailing and Facebooking? It seemed to be pretty quick for a lot of us. So it could be a decade, it could be less, it could be more. Whatever, it's likely in the future that smart cars, smartphones and other kinds of opportunities will eliminate the need for the mechanical devices on the street. But don't worry, that's again at least 10, 20 years away. And that's where we're, that's, you know, so you'll still be able to pay by having coins in your car. Related to parking in the city, um, as, as I said, that we, we've got a garage. We're going to complete that garage about October and open it back up. The garage uh, repair is going to cost around $3 million. That means the city is going to have for the next 20 or so years a $270,000 payment to pay off uh, that debt to pay off the three million dollars of, of loan that we've got to, to do this the bonds that means things need to change one of the things that will change uh, will be the pricing of our parking it will cost more to park in the city of Latrobe um, 
The bad news is that's going to go up. The good news is I don't know what that is right now, so I won't stress you out over that, but it will go up. Related to that, the, the, the cost of doing business related to parking will go up. Whether you buy a pass or you get a parking ticket, you'll pay more to do that in the city of Latrobe. Again, part of doing business in a new environment with a new garage, again, we want to provide pay options. But I think the most important thing is a, a word on enforcement. We will be enforcing uh, parking uniformly in this town. Law, when applied uh, unequally, haphazardly, uh, somewhat uh, anything other than a straight line is anarchy. And when we excuse, like we've done in the past, uh, illegal parkers or violators, you know, if we wink an eye at this person for illegally parking in an alley or in a loading zone, or for this person for parking where um, there, there's a, you know, a painted line, a yellow line that's been painted so they're not allowed to park there, um, where we allow someone to, to kind of camp out all day in a space that's not appropriate for them because it's a short-term meter space, um, that takes away from the rights of all of the rest of the customers who want to play by the rules. Quite frankly, it isn't fair to them. There are hundreds of people every day in this town who, who play by the rules. They, they, they got the quarter, their dime, their nickel ready. They plug the meter. They put an extra quarter in even sometimes to make sure they got the time. If they think they're going to run out of time before the meter runs out, they fill the meter. However, there's some in our system, quite frankly, who have gotten used to kind of, uh, I'll say, lax enforcement, a little bit soft enforcement. Heck, and sometimes you could come down here with your ticket, and if you hollered loud enough, we'd rip it up for you. That's not going to happen anymore. It's not fair to the payers of the system to have that happen. Somebody plays by the rules, the guy who doesn't play by the rules gets a pass. It's going to work like this. You get a ticket, we won't excuse the tickets any longer. If you want to challenge the ticket, you take it to the magistrate, just like you would with a speeding ticket or anything. Nobody in City Hall has the authority to rip up anybody's ticket. This is going to sound harsh, but if you're a handicapped person parking in a handicapped space and you forget your placard that day, I'm sorry, don't park in that space. Go home, get your placard, put your placard up, then you can park in the space. We don't know whether that car is, 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 is legitimately or illegitimately parked. We write a ticket, we don't have the ability to, to tear it up anymore. You'll have to see the magistrate. You park in an alley. The parking uh, meter attendant has been letting it go for years. Not anymore. You'll get a ticket. When you bring the ticket to City Hall and complain, we'll say we're sorry that you feel that way, but you're going to have to take that to the magistrate to get that fixed, get that straightened out. We realize this is going to be hard for some people, uh, and we're willing to work with some of those people. Some of those people, they might have a legitimate business need to have a space right out by their business. Let's say, for example, out in front of their business um, all the time. Uh, let's say a pizza shop wants to have a space for their delivery driver to be able to get easily in and out of the store to deliver pizzas. We get that. We'll be willing to forfeit having the meter in front of that business if on a monthly basis you're willing to pay us and have that sign. We'll make the sign. The sign will be your business name and say something like parking for your customer only or parking for the delivery driver only. And that way you'll be able to make sure that space is kept open for you. Our meter attendant will work with you on that. If there are people parking there who aren't allowed to do that, we'll let them get a ticket as well as we'll grant you the authority, <clears throat> quite frankly, to um, call a local tow company and have that car towed. Again, you pay for the spot, you get rights to that spot. Somebody who's illegally parking there doesn't have a right to the spot. We'll, we'll take the appropriate action to make sure it stays open for you. That's just one of the things we're looking to do to enhance the parking system. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news about this, but I hope you can appreciate for the 95% of people who play by the rules, plug their meter, bypasses, park only where they're allowed to. It's only fair to them that these rules are enforced. Again, anything less than keeping the law straightly enforced, black and white enforced, is anarchy. So, with that in mind, um, parking system's gonna change here in, in Latrobe. Part of that is our new payphone by app, Pango. Check it out online. I anticipate within a short period of time that app will be able to be downloaded to your iPhone or to your Droid and very soon you'll see signage go up around town. You'll be able to register with Pango and be able to use Pango to pay for passes, to pay for parking on the street, and of course paying in the garage when it's open. As always, it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you this way. I'm really easy to contact. 
Email me whenever you, you would like at agraziani at cityoflatrobe.com. That's A-G-R-A-Z-I-A-N-I at cityoflatrobe.com. The, the council, city council, meets first Mondays of, or second Mondays of every month at 6.30. And for agenda prep session, the fourth Monday of every month at 6.30 p.m. here at city council chambers in Latrobe. We want to be accessible to the city taxpayers of Latrobe. Please, give us a call. Come to a council meeting. And when you download Pango and use it, let us know what you think. Thanks for taking the time to listen today. Good day.